Aquarius, yes, Aquarius, this is your moonology message from your girl Aquarius. You know, the full moon is on the 29th. Gives you something to look forward to, to manifest to, and to get ready for, okay, Aquarius. Yes, I have Aquarius in my chart. I'm excited for the new moon, baby. Spirit ancestors, descendant masters, uh, please give us a message for my Aquarius babies. It's a general message. Flip it, switch it, get in where you fit in. If it's not you, leave it for somebody else. It's somebody else in your energy. Communication is key. Yes, it is. Communication is key. It definitely is. Communication is definitely the key, okay? A fiery climax approaches. Full moon in Aries. We're about to have that moon in Aries on the 29th. Prosperity lies ahead in Taurus. The moon in Taurus. Be bold and make the first moon. Cardinal moon. Yes, I am a cardinal sign, baby. I don't mind making the first moon, okay? I got to slow it down sometimes. <laughs> I got to slow it down sometimes. Sometimes I be moving too fast, okay? Spirit ancestor, descendant master. I'm going to back it up with the classic tarot. Please give us a message for my Aquarius, okay? Choices. Communication is key. You have choices. There's so many ways that you can communicate. You can text, you can write, you can journal, you can use your craft, your art, your writer, your singer, your songwriter, your poet. There's so many ways that you can be able to get your creativity out, okay? A fiery complex of a fiery Climax is approaching with the Four of Cups. Let's back that up. Okay, there's slow communication coming in, okay? There is going to be slow communication. You've really been thinking about it, Aquarius, but Spirit's asking you to let go and let God, okay? Bring love into it with the Knight of Cups. That's slow movement. That's slow healing. That's slow emotion. You know, it ain't going to happen overnight, okay? You're not, you're going to feel a certain kind of way for a while, but Spirit is asking you to take piece by piece, step by step, and continue on balancing your emotions about the situation. Okay, with the queen of wands, prosperity lies ahead. That means have your boundaries set, okay, but have love and nourishing as well. You need to have those boundaries, you need to have that standpoint. You need to know how far people can take it with you, and you need to respect the fact if you don't have those boundaries set up or those morals and um, integrity set up. I feel like that they're going to run clean over you, okay? So you need to have that set up. But bring love into it as well. Be bold and make the first meal. That seven of pentacles is about, no, I'm sorry. That eight of pentacles is about your work. Be bold and make the first move, okay? If you have a creative, this looks like you have something creative that you're trying to bring to surface. Okay, like I said, whether it starts out with communication. Spirit is letting me know you have a craft. It could be singing, writing, painting, um, poetry. You have something that's going on that's a gift. That's where the fiery um, approach is coming from. You have options with the four of cups. But you are only looking at one right now, and it's on your mind when you got three other cups there. Now, granted, slowly, you're not going to, how they say, be successful in it right off. With the nine of cups, you're going to have to take your time, put your heart into it. It's going to be a slow process. Put your boundaries up. That means set your prices. If it's art, set your prices on your artwork and don't move, regardless of what happens. Be bold and make the first move. 
put your work out there, okay? Do what you have to do and be bold and make the first move, Aquarius. And that's what I got for my full moonology for you guys. Bye.